Supply chain issues continue to plague America from coast to coast, and the Federal Reserve Chair doesn't see things improving anytime soon. Fox's Ashley Webster has more from the Port of Savannah. We're not making much progress. Despite White House claims, the head of the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, says little progress is being made in freeing up the supply chain. The share of goods in stock at stores is 89% now, which is barely changed from the 91% before the pandemic. I often see empty shelves being shown on television. 89% are full, which is only a few points below what it was before the pandemic. But our work's not done. Inflation rates are hitting their highest level since the 80s, leaving businesses struggling with higher operating costs and Americans frustrated with the impact on their wallets. The Biden administration saying that it believes the supply chain crisis will resolve itself in the second half of this year. But Powell has a different opinion. I would not say that I would expect the supply chain issues to be completely worked out by the end of this year. What I would say, and I have been saying, is that I expect progress to be made uh, in the second half of this year, mainly. Until then, the cost of getting goods from across the world continues to be extremely high. Container freight rates globally up 140 percent. Asia to the west coast up 250 percent. And Asia to the east coast up 184 percent. Increased demand is creating port congestion. In places like the Port of Savannah, conditions are improving. But areas like Long Beach, California, continue to experience a backlog of up to hundreds of ships still waiting to come into port. So what does this mean for Americans? Well, you can expect high prices for a while to come. I'm Ashley Webster at the Port of Savannah, Fox News.